Hi everyone. I've joined one minute earlier just to see if you guys can hear me. I'm going to be watching comments as I'm speaking to you just to make sure that everything is in place. Um, you are able to hear me. You are able to join. So I see some people joining. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Alexandra. Hi, Charles. Oh, my goodness, my students. Kevin, Charles, guys, love you. Uh, Violetta, Athena, Beat, Claudia. Claudia, my love to you, darling. Sabel, oh, guys, you are awesome. I'm so happy you're joining me. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Specifically, when I see my students uh, coming to this open sessions, it really expands my heart beyond the measure. But all newcomers, whoever I haven't hugged yet, I'm so happy you're here. You joined our conference, and I hope you're going to learn a lot out of it. Uh, let me just start with the fact how this organization was born. Um, three years ago, in March of 2017, I have discovered Neurographica. And since that time, it really com completely blew up my mind. And I, the only thing I could do is to draw 24 by 7, even at work, even after work. Uh, weekends, doesn't matter. I was spending all my time drawing, drawing, and drawing. And then, of course, I decided to take a professional path, and I completed my uh, specialist education in October of 2017. And then I started to teach immediately, because I really need to, needed to give out the knowledge that I have immediately. I really, really loved it so much. I wanted to expand beyond the measure. And that's how Neurographic Americas got born, believe it or not. Um, I've started this movement, and my friends had joined me, my students joined me. Uh, then uh, majority of the students who came, studied with me, they became my colleagues here at Neurographic Americas. They became my partners. Uh, they doing their own line of work. They partnering with me. They doing a lot of things, and that really makes me extremely happy. And now we have this movement that still develops. We've been thinking about different forms of how should we uh, form our uh, our um, alignment. But you know, it's so hard to keep structure together uh, with creativity. What we found that we're still looking for the balance between structure and creative process. It looks like when we're trying to superimpose a structure, then we're losing in creativity. And vice versa, right? When we're so creative, so open, who needs the structure, right? But I, I truly believe that uh, with the new students who uh, are coming up and studying and new teachers um, also going to be presenting today, uh, they became instructors uh, of 2019, like I completed my course in 2018. Um, it's just amazing how the method develops. It all comes with neurographic line, as you know, because neurographic line is basically the current of life. That's how I call it. Um, and I love it because it really, it fills me up with so much energy, with, with love, with passion. It expands me beyond the measure. So that's where we are. And um, I'm so happy you're here. We're going to be learning today. Very interesting technique. I have introduced this technique uh, in my community, Rewired for Abundance, that I'm running together with Maria Volkova, who was presenting before me. And um, we've been running five days free challenge in our Mastering the uh, Abundance Mindset group, where people got amazing results almost immediately. And it really sparkled completely um, our um, approach to how we should teach, uh, what works, what doesn't work. And when I've seen so many positive results coming almost immediately, I said, we need to continue. We need to grow. We need to do a lot of things and bring the methods outside of Revive for Abundance, whatever we can share with you guys, outside of the challenge, right? Those small uh, pieces that we can sparkle, right, from, from that place, uh, towards you, we are happy to share with you because we all want you to learn. We want you to maybe choose a professional path. I'm so excited because 
together with my Moscow partner, Svetlana Safonova, we are offering a specialist course. Um, and some of my students here who are named Kevin and Charles, and we've got um, uh, more people, Sancha uh, and Claire, and it's just, you know, my best students, my best students, they decided to study and get the next round. So, and what else I want to announce that the first American born specialist got her certificate. I want to congratulate Peggy, Peggy PJ Starr. She's our super trooper. She's 84 years old. Can you imagine that, guys? For people who think the life is over after 50, it is just so, so inspiring to know that even at 84, you can completely change your life to the best. And now she's running her own program, Neuroabundance. Um, she's doing super. And I'm encouraging you guys, if you're interested to take the professional path, I'm offering my level one uh, online. You can take it anytime. And also I'm offering the second level specialist together with Svetlana Safonova, who is teaching, I'm assisting and um, monitoring kind of the group. Uh, please, please knock on my door. I would be happy. I will be happy to assist you. Also, please join our Rewired for Abundance Academy. I'm going to be dropping the links. I'm going to be dropping the links to our five-day um, challenges that we're running every month. So we're going to be doing a lot of uh, interesting, uh, in-depth classes, events, marathons, and so forth. But here in uh, Neurographic Americas Association, we'd like you to get exposed to Neurographic to as many teachers as possible. You really need to find your own teacher who you resonate with, who you vibrate with uh, equally, who you feel like, oh my God, this person is exactly for me. Uh, I want to study with this person. And we've got English speaking instructors here, Lana Shalom and uh, Alexander Wall, uh, Marina Belilovsky, uh, Alina Smolensky, you guys are going to see uh, all the instructors and if you feel like you're resonating with them, you should go with people who uh, you would really like to be in touch and if who energy you really love and appreciate. All right, so but let's just kind of switch to the drunk board now. We're going to be working today with a very interesting technique. I think it's a God's given technique. I'm going to talk about this. Um, just give me one moment. I'm going to change my camera and we'll continue at the drawing board. Yay, I've switched successfully. Sometimes it's tricky, guys, believe it or not. Technology is beautiful, but sometimes it can be very, very, very tricky. Uh, let me just reorganize a little bit. It's, it's a little bit crowded here. And my camera, I need to really make sure that it works. All right. Let me see, guys, what you're writing to me. I'm really happy that so many people came. Awesome, awesome, Saddle. Thank you for your feedback. You hear me, guys. You're all awesome. Hi, Ishlet. I'm so happy to see you. Maria, Kevin, congrats, Peggy. Right. Peggy, I kind of hope she's going to join, but for her, it's a little bit early maybe because she's on the west coast and marina's here and melanie you guys super troopers i love you thanks for joining all right so you could see my environment my setup i like to have my crystal next to me because crystals also have a power of healing and when we feel a little bit out of balance when we feel a little bit uh off maybe we had a conflict maybe something is not right doesn't feel good Crystals are always beautiful. They come to us for healing. It's like or almost like an earth gift to us. Um, so I'd like to keep a crystal. Sometimes I put more crystals. I like amethyst. It's my birthstone, so I put it next to me. But for now, let's just keep a uh, uh, like really uh, clean space so we can start talking. All right. So guys, um, you most of you right who joined. Uh, probably already know what is algorithm of removing inner limitation is or lifting inner limitation. We call it sometimes like that. So uh, 
we all know that this algorithm is extremely powerful. It can really remove all the weeds hidden inside of us. And this algorithm, uh, I believe Pavel started with this algorithm when he, when he discovered this method. And to be honest with you, using this algorithm, I was able to work through so many issues, my childhood traumas, my relationship traumas, conflicts, you name it. And you know what? It, 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 it never ends. It always continues. And we always, um, when something happens, we know what to do because we have a tool. Uh, we don't try to hide and get into the mode where nobody loves us. It's kind of like a victim mode that a lot of people falling into, then something doesn't go our ways. So the algorithm of uh, removing inner limitations is really helpful, extremely. It's number one. And nothing replaces it. But uh, what I recently came across as, as another um, kind of practice, right, that I've translated into neurographica. Uh, it came from Kundalini Yoga, and um, it is a process of working with uh, words. I'm going to talk more about this, and we're going to start drawing. But you know what? Like everything, whatever we experience has a connection to a word or a certain meaning. If you remember uh, the verse from the Bible, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God and the word was God, right? So, and how does it apply to us? It applies to us through understanding what goes on in our inner world. Do we feel off balance? Somebody said something unpleasant, right? Uh, you had a conflict at work. Your wife or, or your husband, they don't understand you. Or, or kids, they just don't behave. Even with animals, sometimes we can get frustrated, right? Um, so, but once we put a label on that, let's say, once you name it, what is going on with me? If you sit quietly and you look deep inside, maybe you close your eyes and just ask yourself a question and say, what is it? What makes me feel so bad? And then listen for the answer. Usually the first word that comes out is the right word. Anger, right? fear, frustration, um, you name it. You really need to name it. Once you name it, guess what happens? 50% of electricity is relieved from uh, uh, this feeling. It really, really helps you to uh, reduce the amount of stress that you're experiencing. But once you label it, once you understand what goes on, you're already reducing by 50% that feeling. I mean, if we're talking about some really serious conflicts that involve uh, maybe, I don't know, something really, really major, like a loss of the loved ones, or um, maybe somebody got fired from the work, they worked for so many years, that could be, you could require some more work. But if it's something light like that, if a conflict or a frustration, or something is not working the way you feel like it should work, that's the way to harmonize yourself, okay? And by naming it, you're helping yourself to do that. So let me just show you some supplies that you may want to get for this exercise. Because a lot of people come to me and they're saying, Margarita, it takes a lot of work to do all of this. It takes a lot of work to, um, um, to draw, to complete the drawing. I agree, sometimes it takes time, it does. But for our exercise, it should not. Although I was working yesterday with the Russian group and yes, it took me time to complete the entire piece. But the major piece where I was working, um, it took me like about 15 minutes to complete, okay? Uh, but then I continued and I finished it. Actually, I need to post it in the Russian group as well. But you don't have to work on the large paper. You don't have to unless you want to. So what can you work with? You can work with smaller um, uh, mixed media albums like this. Canson, I love Canson. I always recommend Canson because Canson has a very, very thick paper and it doesn't go through, right? It doesn't. So lovely, totally lovely. 
you can also work with larger like let's say you say oh no it's too small for me i don't think i can i can do it but some people would gladly appreciate this size gladly because it's very easy to fit into your bag when you go to work um but some people say no 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 it's kind of small for me i'd like to use something bigger yes you can use canson with the leather like cover um you could see the size is seven by ten inches go for that go for that you see i was uh, i think i was on the bus and i really to wanted to work on something and look it's beautiful how long it took me to do 40 minutes about 40 minutes so you could definitely use something like that um carrying this around with you and what about markers right that's another question margarita i don't know what to what markers are you using your work looks so beautiful guys believe it or not i'm using simple sharpie markers i used to go crazy with that i used to buy expensive stuff i used to spend like a deal amount of money for that but now i don't you don't have to do that guys you don't just get something sharpie is very cheap here is another one. I bought it, I believe, in Marshalls, like for, not Marshalls, I'm sorry, Michaels, for pennies, Artist Loft. Look at that. I think like 24 of them cost me like $12 or something. You can also get some fancy markers like that with the thin point, right? Some people like really delicate work. I know Maria does. She likes delicate. Um, you can also get uh, something like this. Look at that. It's a Molotov um it is a golden oh vlada i uh, love you she's one of my best students uh molotov right um guys you can really mix and match whatever works for you you could definitely use and as of pencils i like a prismacolor but you don't have to use prismacolor because they kind of expensive when you just starting for the first time i see a lot of people experienced specifically my students love you all of you you could just take pencils uh take one marker with you or two right because you don't know which one you would decide to work with or even three markers <laughs> then add some pencils take it with you just put it somewhere like in a small purse put it in your bag with the little album and that's all you need for the work that's all you need guys you don't have to have anything super fancy super interesting just do the work okay don't find excuses right and don't get into analysis paralysis what happens sometimes when we think too much we're getting into the state where we're like all right what should i do next let's not do that to ourselves let's just relax uh, uh, and do our work and that's how we get better that's how we grow that's how we're getting all the experiences we need to get in order to transform to grow and to get to the better state of our life all right i think that's about it we can start so i've already said let me just pick the marker i'm gonna use uh black so it's very visible although maybe uh if i would do myself i would choose maybe purple or dark green so you do whatever you feel you need to do uh, but I'm going to be using black just for the visibility purpose, okay? So we're going to start uh, with um, identifying what goes on right now in your mind. And I would like you to work on something that really, really bothers you at the moment. Don't go to something small. Don't go to something, oh, yeah, I talked to my mom and mom said something to me. I feel sad. Mm you could work on this later let's just pick something that bothers you that something recently happened that you just keep thinking about it and it almost turns into like going over and over and over thought pattern that you cannot get out so this exercise really helps out to get out and i'll talk about this more why it doesn't work all right so for me it's kind of like hard to pick anything because it seems like with neurographic, so many things got so smooth. Even if I get into something that may bother me or sounds like a conflict, I'm just stepping away from that. And I'm not even getting into conflicts anymore. So, but let's just for the sake of this exercise, let's just pick something. Let's pick a word anger, right? 
uh, let's say you had an argument with your boss, something happened, and you're so angry you cannot control yourself. All right. So instead of just sitting or lying down, watching some movies and still thinking, oh, my God, what did he do to me? How possibly it could happen? I'm such a fantastic uh, worker. I do my job. Um, why, 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 why? And guess what happens while you're going through this? Your energy flows there as well, right? The energy flows where the thought goes. So we don't really want to get stuck in this state because it's so easy if it happens multiple times to fall into the victim state of mind. We definitely want to avoid it as much as possible. Better to work on the weeds. You know, in the garden, when you see a weed, what do you want to do? You want to plug it out so your flowers can bloom, so your trees can grow healthy. What if you leave it for a month, for two, for three months? The weed's going to occupy your entire garden, and then it takes a lot of time and a lot of effort to remove them from your garden, okay? So we don't want this to happen better to work immediately when something happens all right all you need to do is to close your eyes be quiet for just a couple of seconds the first word that would come to your mind would be the right word we said it's going to be anger right anger okay so what you need to do when you're going to be working on this just to write the word anger okay you just need to identify label it label it all right, I'm angry. I, I understand what goes on with me instead of, oh my God, my chest uh, so squeezed, I feel so contracted. Um, I don't know what's going on. All you need to do is to put the label. Right away, 50% of the electricity charge that goes with this should drop. And if it doesn't drop, it's gonna be dropping while we're gonna be working on this, okay? so. First thing is to identify what goes on. And also, you need to have an intention to remove it from your system, to dissolve it. And in order for you to do that, you really need to start with writing, need to have an intention to remove, and the next step is to empty your mind. How would you empty your mind in order to work through this? For a neurographic line. For neurographic line, neurographic line is a current, magical current of life, magical current of everything that goes through our entire practice. So all you need to do, guys, is just start dissolving this word on the paper using neurographic line. And we remember the neurographic line doesn't form any pattern, and it goes to the direction where we don't expect it to go. It just goes, it flows like a river like something totally bionic, natural, it flows. And while we're doing it, guys, we are dissolving. We're getting into the dynamic meditative state where our mind gets emptied out. It's very nice to put some sort of music. Uh, it could be Tibetan balls or uh, Chinese flute, or maybe you want to put sounds of nature when you're gonna be working on this, right? Just first learn the algorithm and then use it with the music. It's so nice, so smoothing, you know, so soothing. All of that comes all of the sudden. We feel so empty. We feel into, we fall into meditative state and then we feel totally different. All of the sudden the anger doesn't feel that much as anger. It doesn't. You feel more pleasant kind of. Because the current of neurographic lines start forming something magical for us. Magical in what way? It forms something from the neuroplasticity perspective where you are overriding your current condition with the positive one. That's what happens where magic lives in science, guys. I mean, we're saying we're magic, fantastic. Yes, we love fairy tales as well. I do too. But the science proven method is neuroplasticity. And that's what we're working on here. We are creating new uh, uh, neurological connections, not at this particular point yet, when we're gonna be starting rounding and removing all these crossings, um, then we're gonna start uh, creating new neurological connections. 
uh, at this point, we're just emptying our mind with the neurographic lines that go across neural lines. What a beauty, Pavel. I don't know how you came out with this, but definitely uh, only even by drawing neurographic lines, guys, you can get into meditative states. And I know a lot of people doing it, and we have a specific algorithm for this in level one. People who experience that, they report beautiful results. So what is the next step? The next step, you really need to start rounding. And what is the rounding, right? I'm just reminding you guys. The rounding comes when we have two crossing lines or objects and they come across. What happens here? The conflict happens. Nothing really positive happens at this point because they cross each other. We don't know what goes on. But once we do rounding, we like putting um, a rounding kind of, lines here like half circles in order to connect them here all of the sudden instead of having two separate lines going into two separate directions we are already forming something that uh through our mind and body condition a connection i'm sorry from mind and body connection we are creating new neurological connections in our brain and um, russians done a lot of studies on this uh neurographic is so new it was born in 2014 and uh, in the United States, not much has been done. We, we even have teachers who's teaching in English that we, can, we could count, like one, two, three, four. We, we really don't have a lot of people teaching. But I strongly believe with time when neurographic is going to expand in the country. And we're going to connect with scientists and uh, people who would be willing to provide the proof to this here in the United States or maybe in Canada, Australia, Europe. Um, that would be fantastic to have all the studies um, here in English language. In Russia, they have already done extensive work on this, and we know that uh, Russians um, in uh, the really great at science and cutting edge of technologies. And um, uh, I truly, truly believe in what was done there. So, what we need to do now, we need to create uh, rounding and let's start dissolving the word anger with that right let's start dissolving all right so what happens when we do rounding we get into a quiet state when nobody's talking like me <laughs> when you're going to be doing your exercise on your own nobody's going to be talking just you to yourself we're going to start dissolving dissolving look what i'm doing i'm drawing a circle and i'm coloring outside of the circle all right, and this practice came from Kundalini Yoga. I've just translated it, created it as my algorithm, um, translated it to neurographical. At this point, what, what we expect to happen, we expect to um, start feeling less angry, uh, um, um, less frustrated, um, calmer, happier. All of a sudden, you may even forget what you're doing here. You're like, what am I doing? What was that? What was the word I started uh, with? Uh, you're going to kind of start losing that sense um, of being angry or frustrated or whatever it is. Okay. And that's what we do. I'm going to be only concentrating guys on this piece just to show you how the word can easily disappear. If you see some sticking triangles here, because I've used it when I wrote the word anger, I see some sticking triangle. You just can take Take it out, take it out from the pattern, just like that, right? Or like letter R, you can just connect it to another neural line, right? So if you see anything hanging, so easy to connect with the rest of the pattern, okay? So here's what we continue doing. We continue rounding, feeling better, feeling like, Oh my God, with all the circles. You see, I'm using circles because circles are holistic uh, figures and any other geometrical shapes uh, easily fitting into circle. So that's what I'm doing here. I am providing those circles and I am uh, marking in the black color everything what's in between, okay? Look, it's already started to lose the meaning. Here, what's going on from neuroplasticity perspective. You are replacing the old meaning with something abstract. 
totally abstract unknown. We don't know what it is, but what's good about this, we are going from for therapy. We are going for the therapeutic component of feeling much better, much, much better when everything is dissolving, when we have these beautiful little circles instead of the word anger. And sometimes at the end, we're getting a good um, feeling of accomplishment that you really work through your anger or frustration or fear or any other negative um, a negative emotion that you are experiencing. Guys, can you hear me? Because I don't see any comments and I'm getting concerned. Just put a plus sign, anybody, that you can hear me. I would appreciate it greatly because I don't see any movement. So um, it's a little bit strange because usually I'm people joining and I see people joining. Um, I would appreciate if you could uh, mark it. Yeah, I see some hearts coming. Okay. So maybe we are doing okay. I'm not losing connection. All right, so let's continue. If for any reason, I'm going to lose connection or anything because it's a Mercury retrograde in place. Guys, and a lot of people were losing connection yesterday. <laughs> yes, love you. Thank you, guys. It feels, it feels really, I feel much more confident than everything goes well. All right, so I think everyone is working. That's why I don't see anything. But uh, look at this. Look at this. How easy we can lose the sense of what was written here, right? We're basically converting our anger into something different, something different. We don't know, as I said, what it is, but definitely it is something different than anger. And it has no meaning at this point because it is an abstract art. And from neuroplasticity perspective, we are forming new neurological connections that uh, creating a space for the unknown to replace that anger. We're going to learn during the process what it is. We don't know yet. We just need to get to the state. It can't happen by magic that all of a sudden you're going to be switched on something that you felt angry and all of a sudden you feel happy. It's not going to happen. But for this work, slowly, gradually, it will start happening. Do you see word anger anymore? No. It disappeared. And just because it disappeared, you, um, uh, I believe you're going to start feeling much better uh, at this point. And just watch yourself when you're going to be doing your practice uh, on your own, re-watching this video. Thank God we have lots of videos here. If you scroll down, guys, after the conference, you could see so many videos posted in the group. I kind of was going through them, and I'm like, oh. Wow, we have so many fantastic videos that we've got from previous conference or from our free lessons that we've been giving. Um, so coming back to this practice, right? You can write the whole sentence here if you want. You could just write, I'm angry at my husband because he said this and this to me. You can just write the whole sentence. You can write a whole poem. If let's say you're saying goodbye, uh, to uh, your uh, your former boyfriend or your girlfriend, write the poem here, goodbye poem, and dissolve it, let it go. It's almost like taking this and burning on the fire. Seriously. You burn it and it goes away. Here, it's even better because not only that you are working with this, you're not simply burning, you're converting it to something different. My, my preference always, don't burn, convert, transform. Transform to something else. Um, energy never goes away. It transforms, right? When you burn something, it transforms uh, to the fire, to ashes. Uh, when you draw neurographica, through neurographic line, you create a new neurological connection that, uh, connections that totally transform your world. And as I said, you can write as many words uh, or the whole poem or anything, but the word of caution is don't just put everything in the same place. It's not a soup that we're cooking where we need to add carrots, potatoes, onions, and all of that. Please work with just one idea. If you're angry with your boss, you could write a poem about this and work through uh, neurographic lines. But don't just say I'm angry at my husband, my boss, my kids, my pet, my mother, my neighbor, 
and who else? I don't know. I can imagine, right? Don't don't create a soup out of this. It's not a soup. It's a one ingredient work. Oh, thank you, Seval. Thank you so much. Um, just work on one issue at a time. Let's say you worked on anger, right? Then you, when you finish your work, just ask yourself, how do I feel now? Do I still have anger? If you still have anger, you, you need to repeat this exercise. Take a smaller paper. As I said, you don't have to work on the large paper like this. I'm using it for the class. When I work on myself, I'm using something smaller. If I specifically with this practice, all you need is like even like an album of this size should help you out, right? You not even half, one, one quarter. That's it. That's all you need. Um, as I said, don't create a soup out of this. You really need to work on one uh, thing at a time. And let's say if anger goes away, what else is there? Emptiness. I feel empty now. Work on emptiness the same way. Fill it up with neurographic lines. Fill it up with new um, things that will come out uh, when you finish the practice, right? When we finished working with uh, Russian group yesterday. Look what came out out of this. Oh my goodness, I see beautiful butterfly here, right? And right in the middle of the circle. We worked on the word fear, I believe. I, I, I don't remember what it was. You see, I don't even remember what it was. I love it. That's how it's supposed to be. You should look at this. Uh, I don't even remember what it was. <laughs> That's the magic. That's the magic. So let's continue. I'm not going to work through the entire pattern the, it's not a purpose let's continue looking at what we had here look it really looked like a circle almost like half of that i can create a circle finish it finish it just like that right how easy we don't need to do a lot in order to get better we don't have to take a pill we don't have to um get into depression mode or uh, hide away from the world just because of one conflict or even the series of conflict that you can easily work through just like that right that's it it's gone once it's gone it's gone no more okay we don't see it anymore it's gone ah breathe breathe when you do this work what i'd like you to do i'd like you to breathe when you draw your lines, a lot of people, what I notice, what happens, um, the shoulders go up, the neck goes down, the spine gets crumbled just like that over the computer. Nobody breathes. So during my classes, I usually say, breathe, stop and breathe. If you feel contracted, if you feel like, oh, I'm getting a headache, I'm so tired, you know, I'm, I'm, I have so much tension, stand up, walk a little bit. Drink a tea. I always have my tea next to me. Always. If I need to drink, I drink. I put some lemon. It has to be something pleasant, guys. Plus, if you're going to put some quiet, beautiful music, you're going to hear that. It's going to relax you. It's going to relax you. And all you need to do is to breathe, drink, get up, stretch, breathe again, continue, breathe again, listen to the music, drink your tea, and come back to work. Okay? You really need to get it to the point where you no longer see the word no longer okay it's it's out gone beautiful love it love it love it so now what do you need to do now if you want more lines here right if let's say you've completed but you're saying well you know I just you know i don't, still don't feel comfortable with the image you may feel like this what can you do let's remember the number one rule about neurographic patterns the quality of neurographical work is defined by the quantity of the lines. Quantity of the lines, okay? It's important to remember because the more lines you're going to draw, the more new neurological connections you're going to develop because you're going to round them, right? From anywhere, you don't, this algorithm is so free. There are no specific rules. Start here, do this. All you need to do is to come up with the work and dissolve it as much as you can using those simple techniques. Look, I don't like my pattern. I want to add more lines to dissolve it so it looks different. Get to the point where you like it, okay? So if I do this, um, roundings, some additional roundings, then 
maybe I'm going to like my pattern better, whatever came out after I've dissolved anger or whatever it is you're working with. Is that cool, guys? I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I'm saying everything, nothing is new in this world. Everything comes from ancient technologies and uh, from Buddhist practice, from yoga practice, Qigong. Those people knew what they were doing. And now um, only bits and pieces uh, of whatever used to be a sacred knowledge. We're catching the glimpses. We're kind of catching up with this whole technology that used to be the main source of transformation for people, forgotten way of doing it. So coming back to Kundalini practice, right? Um, what, what have we done? We have identified what goes on in our brain, right? Um, and for that, we had what? Intention to remove it. Intention. We had an intention to remove. We identified we wrote it down on the paper that was anger, and we said, I don't want to feel angry. If you want to feel angry, just continue feeling angry, but remember, it's going to destroy. It's going to destroy your day. It's going to destroy uh, the way you feel about yourself. Your body is going to store it somewhere, and who knows where. Um, I encourage you, as soon as you feel negative, just dissolve it. Just like have an intention to dissolve. Don't store it. Don't keep thinking. Don't kill yourself with that, in other words, okay? Um, second thing, we empt emptied our mind uh, with the neurographic lines. Uh, and the third thing that we're doing right now, we are bringing our attention. So first, first was intention. The third is attention to complete our work and get results with this practice, get results. That's the idea. And we know that attention is very uh, important because the consciousness would flow towards uh, completing your work. So uh, let me, I don't like anything hanging. I'm sorry, guys. It's uh, just a professional thing that I can tolerate. But right now, I'm just focusing here. You can always finish. Do whatever you want here at circles, at whatever you feel like. Maybe you want some support from your family. You can add a square. Or maybe you need a triangle to move through some situation. Here you can do whatever you want. Once you dissolve it, be creative. Help yourself with other things, right? Just don't mix things. Here we go, Charles. Anger stored in the liver, fear in the kidney. And Charles from Singapore, he's my student, one of my best ones. Yes, absolutely. That's how it ruins the body. Absolutely. I totally agree with you. Um, I was even watching um presentation of one of my favorite nlp practitioner david and um he was talking about how different emotional uh patterns affect our body get rid of this it's poisonous it's poisonous absolutely so now what else can you do here you may replace this whole thing like you're like okay all right I, i've already rounded try to round everything what lays around the world at least, okay? Here, everything went to quantum world. I'm not paying attention. I'm only focusing on this piece. I want to replace. I want to replace anger with peace. And look what I'm doing. I'm just drawing a circle. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. Be creative here. Help yourself. Find what works for you. You don't want to add circle, as I said, a triangle, a square, whatever. Whatever works for you. Whatever's going to help you out to get out from the state, okay? And now I have to think about what do I want to replace my previous condition? What is the positive thing that I want to reinstate in my mind? And I'm going to say peace. Peace. I want to reinstate peace and write it down right on top, okay? I want peace. I want to be peaceful. I want to be happy. I want to be balanced. I want to invite life. Uh, bubbling, happy life, creative into my world, into my system, my ecosystem of my mind, body, my emotional body, my physical body, my mental body. I want to detox from whatever was holding me up for years. Some people keep anger for years 
oh my God, what he did to me, my mother was controlling, my father was abusive, my friends betrayed me, my company fired me, the company that I worked for so many years. What else could be there? My children, they don't appreciate anything. They take everything for granted. I can go on and on and on. That's what I hear from my clients, guys. That's what I hear from my clients. And sometimes we need to do, um, to work privately, to detox completely, completely. Sometimes it's not enough just to do this practice, even multiple, because if it sits deeply in your system, then you really need to, work with professionals, somebody who can help you out to get out. All right, so all you need to do now is to finish this um, whole drawing by rounding, and then you move to coloring. Um, you just pick the colors that talk to you. You see, I just picked this too. I didn't even think about it. It was just lying right on top. But we know that the green is, is the best color to look at when we're angry, right? Um, if you read about colors and their effect on our body, uh, green is a beautiful color for the piece. And the yellow always lights up. It brings gold. It brings shiny feeling. Um, I just picked this two for now. I, I may add something else. I may add the purple color as well. So, And you know, guys, how to color, most of you. So you really need to stay within the boundaries of the marker and start, dis start dissolving it further with uh, coloring. It really helps to dissolve further because what happens like when we color in certain color, the color itself has a vibration and we are getting into the vibration of the color. Maria talked about this during her presentation when she was drawing uh, Bagua, right? And that's what I'm doing as well. I'm actually uh, coloring and Coloring is intuitive here. Should I draw here? Should I uh, should I color here or there? You guys uh, decide where you're gonna color, but your just remember why you're doing this. You need to dissolve fervor, that feeling. You may forget by this time. You may forget what it was, what you started with. You're like, gee, I don't see the word. What, what was I working? See, I already forgot what I was working on with the Russian group. See, like a lot of not rounded here. When you do on your own, please make sure you round everything. I'm just showing you the algorithm uh, so you could utilize it every day. I know we are not gods and we're not um, yogis who sit somewhere in the mountains and meditating. We are living real life. We're enjoying it. And let's make it more enjoyable by rounding ourselves into something um, something beautiful. Look, it's, something is evolving. I don't know. It looks like a flower to me already. I love it. It's beautiful. Uh, let me add some yellow. Yellow is always good to use in Neurographica. So shiny. Some people are using gold or silver. silver. Uh, I also like to use um, something like this. It's a white uniball, a jello pen, putting some white on top. It smooths out the entire drone. So you guys decide what you're going to be doing, what kind of uh, colors you're going to be using for your condition. Um, but just keep working, keep working. Remember, you need to dissolve. You need to continue. And you need to like what you're doing. If you don't like it, you most likely will not enjoy so much. Add more lines. All of a sudden, you color it. You see, mm, I may change it a little bit. Add lines at this point. Your goal is to get to the point where your condition is dissolved. That's it. That's all we want to achieve here. You can add lines at any point. Even after you finish the entire pattern, you would want to add more if you would like to. You can add as many figures. Again, let me show you the finished piece. I'm going to be finishing this one as well. Here you go. Look at that. It's beautiful. If I would continue working and adding uh, my white and my golden and a bunch of other things. It's gonna shine. It's gonna basically be looking like a piece of art that I can train, okay? But for now, uh, I just wanted to show you what you need to do. The word of anger turned into beautiful flower. That's what I see. Uh, those spring flowers that are coming up right now, and uh, it's a totally different feeling of being reborn, being happy, and being completely content. All right, guys. 
I hope you enjoyed the algorithm. I hope some of you have worked uh, together with me on this. Uh, I hope you're getting results. So under this video, uh, when I'm done, I would like to see your work to be posted under. I will supervise it. I will give you my feedback. I will give you um, some, maybe some other ideas what you can do in your personal situation, right? Because some people have multi-layered conditions. Um, but just remember the rules that you really need to do step by step. Don't create a soup. Uh, just use one idea at the time or one feeling at the time. If you clear that out, if something else coming up, then you continue, continue. You can even have the whole story of your life cleaned up just like that in the soul, in the small album, just like that. Okay. I want to switch quickly to my face so we could all say goodbye. I want to wish you the best of luck. Let me let me just turn my camera on. I hope it's not gonna fall like that. Um, oh, you see, guys, this is my work. I wanted to share it today. We're going to have class with Olga Chamlin. This is our work that we've put together. We created this eternal bone painting that is hanging on my wall. On the sides, you also see works of Olga Chamlin. So it was my drawing. I don't know if some of you remember I posted my drawing, but Olga had uh, took it to the next level and she created this beautiful painting that's now hanging on my wall. Um, I, I love and adore this painting. It's just so tantric, so beautiful. Well, let's come down to my face. And uh, what I want to say, guys, I appreciate every one of you coming today. Um, I totally, uh, yeah, whoever missed the beginning, guys, you would be able to watch and replay. Um, you guys are awesome. I really appreciate you support us by coming to our classes. Uh, all the instructors who completed in 2019, please join our association. Please join our uh, marathons that we're running. I'm the founder of association. Um, I'd like to be called president, but there is no company form, but maybe at some point it will happen. I'm really dreaming about it. And all our instructors supporting me, um, everyone, my students who came, um, I just want to wish you best of luck. Please continue working. Please create the beauty in the world. And for the line, we're going to get to the next level, all of us, and it's going to happen fast. Thank you so much. Have a fantastic day and enjoy the presentations that are coming after mine. Thank you so much.